Okay, so this is concerning a lot of the uh, posts I've been seeing on Facebook lately. Yeah, it's about Facebook again. I know. I'm sorry. But I'm going to post this across from my um, YouTube and into Facebook. So, yeah, be prepared for that. Anyway, um, I just noticed a lot of, how do you call it, uh, disingenuous behavior, I guess you could say. There's people posting, you know, about how they're they're so outraged about the whole Logan Paul incident, and then there's people playing devil's advocate and defending it. And I'm somewhere in between. Like, like I mean, the dude's a fucking idiot, and he disrespected it, a sacred place. And don't look at my boxers on my bed behind me. And I mean, yeah, it's disrespectful. But you know, some people are like basically calling for blood with the guy, and I'm just like, yeah, he's a rich, privileged dickhead. But I mean. How many other rich, privileged dickheads get away with it? At the same time, he's kind of pushing that point that, you know, when you're rich and American, you kind of get away with a lot of shit that a lot of people don't necessarily get away with. Now, the disingenuous part comes from people who have no... Okay. People who are, like, just, like, throwing it out on Facebook or throwing it around and shit and just trying to basically stir up some kind of conflict with it, and they have no idea what they're talking about. I've been seeing a lot of this lately, and it's starting to bother me, man, because, I, don't get me wrong, people's opinions should be respected and valued, and they should always speak them. But when you speak them and you're not ready to defend them, that's a problem. When you can't properly defend it, and yet you're constantly arguing it, or you have people coming up and they're trying to back you up and argue it with you, then you, you're, you're disingenuous. You had no point in bringing it up, and you should not be talking about it. But, you know, like I said before, I'm beating a dead horse with that. And it just kind of bugs me because as much as I want this to stop, I can't because I'll be a hypocrite. Because I'm doing the same thing right now, essentially. The problem is, it's like I've had time to think about this. You cannot, you cannot play devil's advocate in that sense. Logan Paul was wrong. And like I said... And I mean, I'm not even like sub talking about this. This girl Zoe on my Facebook, she was talking about where well, we're acting like uh, Logan Paul made ja the Japanese people hate us more. Yeah, it's a it's an archipelago full of xenophobic people. We know that they've always been xenophobic. That's why they basically got into World War II because they thought they were the superior Oriental race. Everyone, well, not everyone knows that. And I mean, it got to the point where they had to be nuked, and I don't think they deserve to be nuked. But then, yeah, that's another thing they brought up. Yeah, you think they don't hate us? We nuke them at some point. And I'm just like, generations have passed. It's sad. Yeah, it's sad that you know what five, six hundred thousand people were killed. But that's not that's not why people are outraged. I don't think anyone's like saying that Jake Paul or I mean Logan Paul, both of the assholes act alike to me. But these guys are like redeemable in any sense because I mean that guy probably made more money off that video while it was up than I'll probably make this year and I mean that's just the facts that dude probably every damn day makes more money than I make a year and I don't see that as an issue what I see as an issue is that you have these people from many walks of lives many, many walks of lives come into his defense without, a, without hesitation saying that hey they already hate us, or or Japan never really liked us anyway, considering that we're basically their military, considering that as much as we visit there, or as much as we go there sightseeing, they come here doing the same thing, considering that, like, our economy is just as much a part of theirs as theirs is ours, you know, and, you know, you got these people making all these half-assed, arguments against it and I'm just kind of trying to wrap my head around it just thinking to myself what do you stand to gain from defending this guy but then again what do you stand to gain from attacking him I just want people to know that you shouldn't be allowed to get away with these types of things when you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong that's all there is to it you shouldn't be allowed to you know go to a different country go to a place where you know like because I can see sightseeing the place because that's why they have a trail going through there but when you go off the trail, they always assume that you're going to go kill yourself. If you go do a little reading on that, you will discover a lot about that place and why 
people find it offensive. Like, if you go off the trail, they're assuming you're going to go kill yourself, and there's people who will go there and try to talk you out of it. But, you know, only if you're Japanese. Now, if you're some American asshole going there filming and, you know, spotting someone's dead body and poorly censoring it, I saw it and I was disgusted. Not by the body, I mean, dead bodies or whatever, but by his behavior. And you're... I don't even want to talk about that. It's just... It, it was all bad, man. So, my issue, like I said, my issue is don't bring this shit up if you're not willing to argue about it. Don't have people white knighting you or backing up your argument for you or you going behind them. And, just the typical shit that an idiot does. I'm not calling Zoe an idiot, but, I mean, she was doing shit that idiots do in that, in that sense. Don't do that. You don't want to pick a fight and then have someone else go start the fight for you or fight the fight for you. You want someone else to get their ass kicked off of something you said? Do you want somebody to have their argument picked apart by something that you brought up? It's all the same. People are silly, man. And I, like I said, I don't be just so, just don't be so egotistical, I guess you could say. Just because you think you have an opinion and you think it's right, that doesn't mean you should shut yourself off to other conflicting opinions that might help you either understand your opinion even better or help you even reaffirm your opinion or might even help you change it. Because most of the time, these people who feel that way, who are acting that way, are, like I said, they're so egotistical that they can't see past their own point. So, like, they're just locking themselves out of, like, potential knowledge. Myself, I've been humbled several times recently, so I know when I say something stupid or I do something stupid... I'm willing to listen. You correct me? Damn. Well, I look stupid. Thank you. And that's all there is to it. That's all I really got to say on that situation, though. I need a new webcam. This thing only does 720p. Everybody got 4K cameras now and shit. Not me. I mean, I could have did it on my phone, but it's damn near dead. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Also, I can use my different mic. Peace out.